I'm meteorologist Caroline Carithers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with your Monday morning tropical update. We have several areas we're tracking in the tropics. We have Chris, which is now remnants, which we'll talk about. Very short-lived tropical cyclone. We have an area to watch in the central tropical Atlantic and... We have Hurricane Barrel, and let's start there. Hurricane Barrel is a Category 4 hurricane, and it just made landfall on the island of Cariacou, or Cariacou, in the Caribbean islands, the Windward Islands here. It is currently moving across these islands and into the Caribbean. Max winds were at 150 miles per hour at landfall, which was at 10, 10 a.m. on Monday. And unfortunately, Barrel underwent what's called an eyewall replacement cycle, where it changes its structure and it weakens briefly as it does that which is why it went back down to a category three this morning but back up to a category four once it completed the eyewall replacement cycle it did strengthen quite a bit just prior to landfall max winds again at landfall 150 miles per hour so here is the satellite picture and you can see the typical hurricane structure there very symmetrical the eye is very well defined lots of convection or thunderstorms around the eye wall very defined there again max winds at 150 it's moving to the west northwest at around 20 miles per hour so as far as the track of barrel goes uh, now that it's made landfall in the on the caribbean Islands, it is expected to continue its westward track through the Caribbean. It will stay a major hurricane for a couple of days, but it is supposed to run up on some wind shear moving into midweek by the time we get to Wednesday, and that'll weaken it a bit as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, it does look like it'll approach the Yucatan sometime on Friday and eventually make it into the Southern Gulf moving into the weekend. Now, most models beyond this put this towards Mexico, continue its west-northwest track. Some models do curve it a little bit further northward into southern Texas, but right now this is not a current threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. But if things drastically change, of course, we'll continue to keep you updated. But Barrel, Barrel is an impressive system, breaking many records upon its formation this weekend. The earliest Atlantic Cat 4 storm ever recorded is the strongest June hurricane on record. It's the first June major hurricane ever observed east of the Antilles, which is east of the Caribbean. Farthest east hurricane ever observed in June as well. So Barrel, a very impressive storm, continues to be impressive and devastating for, unfortunately, the Caribbean islands that it's impacting. Moving on to Chris, we do have an area here that was just an area that we were watching, briefly became Chris before landfall, a tropical storm before landfall in eastern Mexico this morning. It is now moving over the mountainous terrain of Mexico, and that has helped it dissipate pretty quickly. So Chris is now remnants. The NHC has issued its last advisory on Chris, so the track of it is non-existent because it has dissipated. We're also tracking another area here in the central tropical Atlantic. It does look to take a very similar path to Barrel. So what happened with Barrel is it's such a powerful powerful storm that it really churned up the ocean and so it brought all the cooler ocean temperatures from the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean or further down up to the surface and it just kind of mixed it all so it cooled those waters a little bit so that's why this only has a medium chance for development the conditions are not as favorable as they were for barrel but we'll continue to keep you updated on that so it could develop into a tropical system by midweek but we'll of course continue to keep you updated so a lot happening in the tropics a lot to keep our eyes on no one threats to our stretch of the Gulf Coast, but never hurts to be prepared. It only takes one system to make it an active season for us. And of course, the first alert storm team will continue to keep you updated.